All right, HVAC people. You can see this unit keep tripping the breaker and going off on over amperage. See the, the wires on L2. But L1, I mean L2, see I got 287. I don't have anything. Well, I guess I do. 286. 286. I'm going to try to clean these wires up. Yeah. Hopefully that'll solve our problem. That back one need cleaned up also with that spade on there. Put a new spade on that one. Hasn't tripped the main breaker because they still hot. So I'm gonna clean the wires up and check the amps on it. See if that solves all problems. All right. Got the power cube to the unit. Take it off and clean it up. All right, I'm sitting here thinking I need to cut these wires back maybe two or three inches. And if I do that, I'm not gonna have enough wire to reach those lugs because it's already tight and you can see where it's bulking up. So I'm going to uh, request, they, request they get a uh, electrician out here and you're gonna have to run some new wires or work his magic I know if I cut it I'm not gonna have enough to reach it all right all right I'm gonna try to do this with one hand but this unit going off on high head pressure um, and I found that these Condenser fan contacts were engaging, but the other two back ones wasn't coming on because I got on that ledge and I seen that the fans wasn't turning on. But these fuses are blown, and uh, one of these fans are grounded. Let's see if I can somehow. I don't know if I can do it with one hand. My flu meter reading beat. I need to look at the manual and try to find out what that means. Probably low battery. I'm gonna do these first. These are good. Got my meter on continuity. Let's see, I get a beep on those. Then when I go to the contactor, what fuses? See, I get none. Open line. All three um open. When all three of them open like that, good chance something grounded. Alright, check that one. That one open also. Now I'm going to put this lead on the ground. This alligator clamp. See if we can get this ground here. Let's get this one right here. Any one of these screws will really work. Let's see if I can get a good one. Closer. All right, this should be good. Uh, 
Trying to do this one hand, ace back people. I'm gonna grab this screw right here. There we go. Anybody know what this error code on these Fluke 1587? Let me know. Just using it on that other unit. Might be a little battery. So I pulled the website up. I'm, I'm scrolling through. They're giving me the. Uh, let me see. What page is that? Let me see. see, they're giving me codes, but I don't see anything. That B A T T battery. Hope it's something simple to think cause I'm a thousand dollars. Should still be under warranty though. Alright. Now I'm gonna check all the condenser fan motors to, to ground right at the contact the first. These are the, the ones that was not uh, blown. So I know these should be good. And you see this is grounded if I touch this. I mean that's ground. See I get to this one. See it's grounded. And it's two fans hooked up to this one contactor. You got 32A and look like uh, 34W. So 31, 32, and 33A is that back one. 34, 35, and 36W is the front lead. So I'm gonna take these off and see if either both of them, both of them, uh, see if both of them grounded or just one. And so when I know I got a motor grounded, then I'm gonna actually check it at the motor because you can have one of these wires uh, if it's cut and the copper showing and it's touching this chassis, it'll uh, blow them fuses also. They get in there with that. Get a clamp. 
I still got that one on the ground. I can just go one by one and see what we got. We're gonna ground on that one. That's that front one. That blue. So that blue one is the one grinding. Not getting anything on that. Not getting anything on that one. Yeah, so this 36 blue is the one that is grounded. So I can really just follow this blue, blue one right here. Let's take a look at the schematic. Let's see if I can locate the fans. These are the condenser fans right here. So remember it was W. So 36W. Let's see that. That's 36W. So it's gonna be this one right here. 36W. Remember I said them two back fans wasn't the ones running, so. Uh, hopefully I can get up there and I don't know if this will be the right side or the left side. Let me see. When I was climbing over here, I noticed them two back ones was the one that wasn't running. So here you're gonna be this one here or that one over there. But I can uh I can determine that. Hopefully they got them lettered right at the uh wires. I think I'm gonna have to go get a ladder. Yeah dog. I'm gonna try to climb up there or get a ladder. But all the motors the same size. But I do want to take it, take it right at the motor. So I'm gonna see if I can get up there and get to it. All right. All right. So to the guys that's not in HVAC yet and, and thinking about getting in HVAC, it ain't all easy work now. I just had to walk this ladder probably about a quarter mile to the front of the building. And now I gotta rope it up, rope a ladder up, take it across the building, slide it down to the unit, and then get on top of the unit. Like I say, this is what we're doing commercial HVAC. You gotta have your ladder. Like I said in that other video for our residential, it'd be hot up in there, but we. Commercial can be physically demanding sometimes. Because not only my tools, I had to rope all my tools up there also. So, like I say, but I, I prefer this any day though. Uh, at least the wind blowing them on the outside. I ain't in a hot attic today, but uh, it ain't all that easy all the time. But I'm gonna rope it up and try to get on top of that unit. Check and see if that motor grounded. See all that beautiful greenery. You get to see the city from some of these heights up here in commercial HVAC. Beautiful. Sometimes I just sit up here and just stare and watch. Like over here, you see all the beautiful green trees. Beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. See the neighborhood. See all them nice houses. I like to ask myself, what do those people do to get in those type of houses? They get enough grinding every day. That's what we about. Yeah. 
your phone, camera again, camera loaded. Um, yeah, I think I'm recording. Anyway, I just jumped this red and this black out of that, uh, of that W side, just so I can check continuity and make sure I'm at the right motor. Flute back, back to working. So I'm just gonna check continuity right here. So I'm, I know I'm at the right one. This the one that was tripping. This the ground right there. Not getting anything, so it has to be the motor. Try to get this for the phone, though. About two percent. Oh, this motor is grounded. Every one of them reading, reading something to ground when I arm it out. See, I'm supposed to have an OL. This, this one here is actually the ground. See, I'm supposed to get continuity between those. Got 232. Yeah. So it's definitely grounded. That's the one that's ground too. Cause this is where the green, the ground growing, it's that blue, that 36W right here. So I shouldn't get anything right there. See like on these two, I'm not getting anything. Remember they wasn't beeping. But that's the one that's grounded right there. That's the one close to that green. Blue, that's the one that beeping right there. All right, H-Back people, I'm gonna get out of here. This phone about to die anyway. All right, all right.